So in about 2011, Kemper shocked the guitar world with their profiling amp, which was able to learn a model of any amp you uh, attached it to. It's now 2023, and I just did the same thing with free open source software, which is mind blowing. Uh, so in this video, I'm gonna show you what software I used, how to train a model, how to use the model, and uh, we're gonna take a sound test and see how it does. So last week I was watching the audio programmer live stream, shout out to audio programmer, and uh, I came across one of the presenters was talking about uh, something else, but he mentioned this neural amp modeler plugin and my head exploded. So this is by a guy named Steven Atkinson and uh, he implemented uh, a version of a neural network called WaveNet. Uh, that's something was developed by DeepMind, which you may or may not have heard of. Uh, and he also developed a plugin to be able to use the models generated with this tool. And he also happened to wrap it all up in a Google Colab notebook that literally anyone could use. Super made it super, super easy. Um, so that's what we're gonna do in this video. So let's do it. How does this work? First, we need to download the uh, training file here, and then we're going to reamp our gear. Now you could do that however you want to do it. For our test here, I'm actually going to reamp uh, the Morgan AC20 model in my FM9. It might seem weird that we're modeling a model of an amp, but it actually doesn't matter. The thing that matters uh, the most in the end is, does this thing sound close to the thing we modeled or not? That's the important part is if they sound close. So here's what the test signal sounds like. And here's what that sounds like reamped through the FM9. Okay, so now for the nerd part. We take that reamped signal and we upload that to this notebook. Now, I'm just following the excellent instructions here you can see on the screen. This is super easy. Anyone could do this. Uh, if you've got a microphone, a guitar amp, an audio interface. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I'm just following the instructions here, but once you actually get down to click go here and you start training your model, it'll take about 10 minutes. And when that's done, you'll get this little plot here and you'll get an output kind of error ratio here. If, if this is anywhere below um, 0.1, like closer to zero, is better, right? Uh, so this is pretty good. And you can see in the graph, it's not perfect, but it's, it's pretty close. So uh, the important question is not how to get there. The important question really is, how does it sound? So let's check it out. Okay, so before we listen to these demos, I wanna set expectations just slightly. Remember, this is a $0 free open source software. This is one guy in his spare time. And I think it's incredible what this uh, free plugin is able to achieve. Now, I did two tests. In the first test, I did uh, a model, a profile uh, of the amp and the cab, uh, my mix of IRs that I like to use in the Fractal. Profiled all of that, probably shouldn't be saying profiled, trained, modeled, all of that. Um, and did that test. In that test, there was a little bit more high end in the result um, of the neural amp modeler plugin, like some, some high end distortion. Um, so I did a different test and I modeled just the amp 
uh, just the AC20 block with no cab block, and then applied the same IR after the fact. So imported the same IR into the into the fractal, used that, applied the same IR in the plugin uh, so that things would be consistent, and that's the demo you're watching here. So just remember, zero dollars, free open source. <laughs>